Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to our Business and Tech Talks discussions. I'm your host, the tour guide, Jenny Carasoa, for August 24th, 2022. At any point in time you're consuming this content, I can only hope you're doing well. And thanks for spending your valuable time with us. So today, she's going to be a brief discussion, not too long, talking about the Oculus and getting into virtual reality. My limited experience, I'm very, very tech hesitant, as many people know, but you know what? I decided to take the leap and jump into it. Oh, always, at any point in time you're consuming this, I can only hope you're doing well. And again, thanks so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into it, the Oculus. Um, I finally decided to try it out, virtual reality, put on the headset, and disclaimer though, I'm not in any way trying to discourage people from using this or not trying to say, hey, you guys don't touch the technology. This isn't what this is about. I just really wanted to give you my opinions, uh, full perspective, the pros and cons. I have to analyze all aspects of these things. So one of the things though I'm a huge proponent in is definitely supporting the brain, the mind, using your own thought, creativity, exercising your own thoughts. So one of the reasons why I am hesitant for venturing into these things, but at the same time, I can totally relate. I remember back in 2008, I used to get onto the PlayStation Network, and after I'd spent hours and hours gaming, I would hop on to their little, um, I don't even remember what it was called, but you could create your own avatar and interact with people and you have your own little apartment that they start you off with and you can invest actual money into it into um, creating different islands or different worlds and of course meeting up with different people so I recall one gentleman I remember he lived in Brazil physical location but he had multiple places like an island and then one place was like underwater and like it had a huge glass window and there was like aquatic animals swimming by and a huge living room set up really really nice and it was really fun I looked forward to engaging and meeting up with people online in that virtual reality aspect so I can only imagine what it's like today with the modern technology of the headset so very 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 fascinating but also I do need to bring up the other concerns which is the I guess the addictive properties people's preferring to spend more time in virtual reality versus actual reality. Is that going to be a concern or issue? Is it already a concern or issue? Something worth considering for our, again, Wednesday Business and Tech Talks discussion. So also, I mean, it's great opportunity for businesses, you know, international things, meeting up with different people and um, having meetings and discussions. Of course, beneficial. So Mr. Zuckerberg, you know, great idea looking forward to seeing what the future holds with the headsets and what's going to happen with that so um, other concern though I don't know if anyone has seen the movie I'm into those post-apocalyptic films have anyone seen surrogates with Bruce Willis by chance so I'm not trying to scare you or anything but they do have um, robotic people who pretty much um, they are your surrogates you are at home in the safety of your home and you get plugged into this machine or this headset and you experience all the sensations and feelings that your surrogate, your robotic artificial intelligence person um, experiences out in the real world. So you stay at home in the comfort of your home and then your avatar is the one that, or your surrogate is the one that experiences the outdoor life for you to keep you safe inside. So very, very fascinating concept. I'm looking forward to seeing where the technology takes us, where it goes, what people are going to be doing, what they're capable of, what technology is capable of. Very, very fascinating to seeing what the future holds. Also, I have to share this as well. If anyone's interested in that Christian stuff, there's a movie called Revelation and I think one called Tribulation as well. And they introduce the Day of Wonders and they have the same technology, this headset that you put on. And these movies came out like more than 12 years ago and it already predicted or revealed the virtual reality headset and being able to create a beautiful magnificent world um yeah just at your i don't want to say your fingertips at your eyeballs because <laughs> that, that makes any sense so if you're interested in those i'd recommend that you check out a couple of those films it's good food for thoughts, something to take into account. So 
like I said, um, for our business and tech talk discussion, it's going to be pretty short today. I just wanted to give you my personal experience with the Oculus virtual reality. I am looking forward to seeing what the future holds with this and the metaverse and um, yeah, potentially using it for meetings and getting into further discussions with people. So with that, I will leave you with all those things to consider. I've been your host, the tour guide, Jenna Karasova for August 24th, 2022. And as always, thanks for tuning in and God's peace.